What's up, FOA squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy Sunday to you guys. I want to start today's video off with an announcement. If you have not noticed by now, the FOA community has grown to 70,000 FOAs. I want to thank each and every one of you guys for sticking around and supporting the FOA community as well as myself. I want to also thank all of the newest FOAs. Welcome to the FOA community. It's a great community that we have established here. And I'm sure that you will stick around and enjoy some of my shenanigans as I navigate my life. And <laughs> But anyway, congratulations. We are growing, 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 slowly climbing that mountain towards 100,000 FOAs. All right, today guys is move day. Today is the day that I pack up things and we are moving on toward our next campground, which ironically is just one exit down the road. So I'm not gonna pack pack. What I'm gonna do is just kind of sit things in the van. Uh, I am gonna put my canopy in its case and just lay this across one of the uh, mattresses here on the bed because I'm just going one exit and then I'm going to take everything back out of the van so there's no need for me to just throw everything up top and go through that whole process of packing so it's going to be an easy packing uh, the only thing I really have to take down is the canopy everything else is just I either fold up and put inside the van like I said and move head towards the next uh, campground it's about, I guess, 9.30 in the morning right about now, and I'm trying to decide if I want something to eat for breakfast. I'm not really hungry right now. I think I'm just gonna fix me like a drink of some sort, maybe a tea or uh, ice cold drink. Uh, I do have this this uh, veg vegetable supplement that I've been taking for the past month and a half off and on, which I keep forgetting to mention to you guys. Maybe if I actually make one this morning, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. But for now, um, I don't know. Maybe I'll fix some scrambled eggs and sausages, something really quick. Yeah, let's do that. Then I don't have to worry about eating anything uh, later on today. All right, guys, I'm just gonna whip up a couple of sausages and couple of scrambled eggs. Then I'm gonna make me a drink. Let's get my uh, ice cubes going. Maybe I'll get a couple of them before this meal gets done. I have my stuff all covered up just in case it rains because we have been getting a lot of rain since I've been here in the two weeks. Let's go ahead and get this set up. All right, we got the ice cubes. Gonna be rocking and rolling in a little bit. And let's go back over here. And I gotta get a bag and put on some. I need a bag for that. Look at these humongous eggs. I don't even know if y'all, there you go. Look at them eggs, boy, they humongous. You definitely only need two of these. I 
I gotta do my dishes after I <laughs> finish all this. Let's I tell you, breakfast meats be smelling so good when you cook them. Even sausages smell really good when you're cooking them. All right, I decided to have some tea instead of a uh, cold drink. So let's do tea instead. They don't have they don't have no fluff to them. Alrighty. All right, guys. This is the finished product. Nothing fancy. Just two sausages and some scrambled eggs. And some uh, tea. Mm. Something about these eggs. They didn't fluff up. I mean, look at them. Oh, wow, it is what it is at this point.
I love that tea boy. That's uh, botanicals. I think it's strawberry and hibiscus, something like that. I have some raspberry and hibiscus in there, but it's not from botanicals. And I can taste the difference. I'm super excited to go to this next campground because it's one that I've never gone to before. And it's always interesting to kind of get there and see how much space you have to work with and also check out the grounds of the campground. So I'm pretty excited. I'm not in any hurry to leave this campground yet. And I probably won't leave here until maybe one or two o'clock in the afternoon since I'm only going about 10 minutes down the road. I don't know if y'all can see that, but look at the color of this tea. It's like a, a dark, rich, purplish type of color. It's so good. I forgot to look for it when I was at Walmart because the grocery store that's close to it didn't have it. And I really taken a liking to the botanical brand. I think the next time I fix these eggs, I'm gonna mix them up in a bowl first and then pour them in a the frying pan. All right, I'm gonna finish this up because we got a long day ahead of us. We gotta pack up some stuff, go to the next campground, unpack some things, set up again. And I wanna include all of that in today's video. So I'm gonna finish eating this breakfast and then I'm gonna relax for a little bit. And then I'm gonna start packing up some things and heading to the next campground later on this afternoon. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and wash some dishes. This is how I heat my water up. Because most campgrounds, even if they have water on their site, it's not uh, hot water, it's cold water. So I bought this nice little pot right here to be able to fill up and get a decent amount of water in my sink so I can wash some dishes. I have to keep checking this because the past two times that I did this to wash some dishes, I made this water too hot. And when I was washing dishes, it was like, whoo, whoo, you know how you know how with the water it's, it's too hot. <laughs> and I put so much in there, I couldn't like really put some cold water in there to kind of taper it off because it was already filled up enough in there. So I was like, whoo. <laughs> so I'm keeping my eye out on it this time. Yeah. finally look like we're going to have a decent day all day. Now my week at this next campground is supposed to be a lot better in terms of weather than it was here the two weeks that I was here. So I'm looking forward to some mid 70s to 80 degree weather, nothing too crazy hot so that I can relax. I'm thinking I might want to put my tent up at the next campground. I brought my air bed, uh, my air bed 
my um, my other air bed, the one that's the height of a regular bed, I brought that one with me when I went back down to my storage unit. So I'll see. At some point, I do want to sleep inside of my tent just to see what it feels like on a decent bed. I did it before at Sawmill in Florida, but I had that low twin bed that I basically had to roll up off the floor to get up <laughs> out of it. <laughs> and I did not like that at all because every time I had to take a pee, I had to roll up off of it, <laughs> get up and take a pee. <laughs> so this one is a, a regular height where I could just, you know, sit up and get up. <laughs> And just like that, I have a sink full of hot water. <laughs> my girl, my girl, can't take my eye off you. Can't take my eye off you, dim girl. Don't got nothing on you. Don't got nothing on you. My heart is ready for something I have been had in a long time. True love crime. My hope you know that it may hurt for a while. Let's slow down, slow down. I can see behind that broken smile. Nice. Sweet, smooth, like cocoa bread, cocoa bread, and I. All right, guys, dishes are all done. <laughs> All right guys, it's about 11 o'clock now and I'm gonna get going on starting to pack everything up and getting things ready to move on to the next campground. I'm gonna start by getting off my roadie side panels. And before I do that, I wanna say something about the roadie side panels. When I was cooking last time, a lot of people were saying, oh, do you have rain guards and everything? I should have put my roadie side panels up and I could have the windows down, the screen up and had the ventilation going. I just wanted to make that point because I know in that video in the comment section, a lot of people was like, okay, you didn't roll the windows down for ventilation and this, that, and the other. This is what I should have done. So let's get these off now. I keep forgetting that I have certain things in certain situations. to get the other one on the other side. I forgot I had it all. I had my extension cord running through the... <laughs> I had my extension cord running through the panel, the window, the panel. Yeah, it was running through the panel and the window so I can have my heater on. <laughs> so I had to take that apart first. Man, they got mighty breezy out here just now. And these things are quite simple to put back in the pouch. I usually just take my two thumbs and start pushing them down into the pouch. Like this.
All right. There you go. On to the next thing.
I'm gonna go ahead and just sit this on my bed. It's not dirty at all, so it should be okay. <laughs> Showing off again. Uh, no, Psycho's just trying to beat people. Uh, well, trying to beat other dogs up. <laughs> uh, have you seen the Cujo twins? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sybil, as I'm calling her today, thinks she can take both of them on. <laughs> I'm like, oh hell no. <laughs> Which gonna get his ass whooping. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is, is they, it really is true. You two turn into your parents because. When I tell her, you want me to spank that ass? That's exactly what my mother would say to me when I got out of control. <laughs> and she would. <laughs> All right, guys. I kind of just threw everything in here. Once again, I'm just going one exit down the road. So just to be okay for that little short distance. All right, guys. I am all packed up and ready to go down to the next campground. It is about noon now. I don't know how early I can check into the next campground. Uh, if I can't check in, I'm just gonna come back out and go to McDonald's and have some lunch and kill about an hour or so, and then I'll go back around one o'clock. But hopefully I can check in and get everything situated at a decent time today and have the rest of my day together uh, to explore the campground. So let's hit it. Cause I want to rock right now. Oh, my seat feel like it's so far up. I don't know if I can move it back. All that stuff I got back there. i do a couple clicks. All right. Thank you. Alrighty. Hi guys, I don't know about this campground because my van was having problems getting up these hills. I was so nervous. My tires were sliding and everything. Then when I got up to this section right here, my tires were really spinning. And I don't know why, because I've driven my van up the hill and hillside. And then, I have to turn and go up this hill. And when I got right here, 
you can see my tire tracks right there where I tried to take the side. Then I got nervous that I would go over there. But then that's the other hill <laughs> that I have to go up before I even get to the tent site. So I don't know if I'm gonna stay here or not because I'm really nervous going up this hill. It looks like I should be able to make it, but I'm already petrified. So <laughs> I'm gonna try to go back to hillside. All right, guys, I am back at hillside. Um, I went ahead and reset up everything. This has been a crazy day and I am exhausted both mentally and physically. <laughs> I am ready to just take a nap. <laughs> so I'm gonna just go ahead and probably go to McDonald's and get something to eat and then come back and relax. But as always, thank you guys for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys, you know that. And I'll see you guys the next time. <laughs> I swear, this day has been so dang going crazy. Oh my goodness. Mama said it'd be days like this. Yes, she did. <laughs>